you guys went over to him. What, what was that like? Um, I mean, it was great. It was great. Um, perfect timing. Um, and it's the reason why, you know, uh, you want a talent like that on your team. Um, it's great. You know, I think down the stretch, you had the ball in his hands to make the plays. Um, you know, that particular play put the game away for us. So um, it's great to have that talent on our side. Three Three runs, like, how did you feel like you were kind of reading the game with Justin as, as the game was going on? Just trying to get stops, trying to be uh, aggressive, um, and uh, being attack mode. Ever since Russ got here, you've had seemed like really comfortable chemistry on the court with him. What's it like to, to not start? He's only been a starter since day one here. To not have that be in that starting lineup with you, what was that adjustment like for, for you? Yes, yeah, it's it's, uh, it's tough. You know, it's tough um, with his energy, um, and uh, you know, obviously, it's a ton of chemistry there. Um, and so we've always played well off one another, um, but just you know, it takes a lot. For his sacrifice, that he did, um, you know, for us going forward to try things, you know, move things out. Um, can't, you know, say enough just to the character of, of Russ and uh, man, just his leadership. This game was still uh, pretty close, down the stretch, obviously, but there was a huge play for uh, and to close the third. It was a, a Norm Powell steal that led to you hitting that three at the buzzer. Did that feel like a little bit of a momentum swing for the point? Absolutely. Um, I think we went up after that shot to close the third. Um, and I definitely started some momentum going into the fourth. And did that kind of jump start um, how you guys started the fourth? Because it really felt like you came out and started that, that quarter quick and offensively strong. Yeah, I thought, uh, you know, we just we stayed aggressive. Um, we continued to put pressure on them. Um, and I thought, you know, just over time, um, you know, we were going to make enough plays to win a game. And, uh, you know, that's just what it came down to. We had the momentum, like I said, and you know, we just had enough to make plays going down the stretch. How does the team set things up? Um, just take it one game at a time, go back to the drawing board, um, stay connected, um, and, uh, you know, just piggyback, piggyback off of what we did great um, and learn what we did wrong. Um, and, uh, you know, it sounds cliche, but I think that's just where we're at. How are you feeling with these 40 minute games twice this week? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's tough, but you know, we haven't been winning, so at this point, it's, you know, do whatever um, it takes to get a win. Well, you want a 12 to 1 run at the end of the game. You got a big block, too, as well. Uh, Zubak's made some big plays. What did you see from you know, the group as a collective in that stretch, too, as well? Yeah, I thought everything was intense. Um, so it was finishing at the rim. Um, and, you know, obviously, the scramble ball, trying to make a play uh, defensively. Um, but, you know, Zoo's finishing like that. Takes us to a whole level. Is this how you can envision it, Paul? Like, you know, you get it going at times, Kawhi gets it going, and then Harden gets it going at the end. Yeah, I think um, it's just a, a great balance. Um, that honestly, it's, it's when, we're, when we're going spurts and, and you know, everybody makes a print on the game, um, it's tough to, to match up with us. Um, and I think, you know, we showed that again, glimpses of what it looks like when we're connected, and, um, you know, just got the job done.